Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Priyanka Ahuja and today I will be talking about cell-free DNA screening for trisomies 21, 18 and 13 in pregnancies at low and high risk of aneuploidy. Cell-free DNA or CFDNA is a non encapsulated DNA in the bloodstream. A portion of that cell-free DNA originates from a tumor clone and is called circulating tumor DNA or CTDNA. Cell-free DNA non-invasive prenatal screening for trisomies 21, 18 and 13 has been rapidly adopted into clinical practice. Though studies lack follow-up genetic testing to confirm the outcomes and accurately assess test performance, particularly in women at a low risk for aneuploidy. This was the first study to assess cell-free DNA screening performance using genetic confirmation in a prospective obstetrical population. It adds valuable information on test performance in women at low risk for aneuploidy and in cases with failed cell-free DNA tests. Study findings are published in American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Study assessed performance of cell-free DNA screening for trisomies 21, 18 and 13 between women at low and high risk for aneuploidy in a large prospective cohort with genetic confirmation of results. A total of 20,194 women were enrolled at a median gestation age of 12.6 weeks. The genetic outcomes were confirmed in 73.1% low risk and 26.9% high risk cases for aneuploidy. The study found that in women at low previous risk for aneuploidy, cell-free DNA has high sensitivity and specificity and a positive predictive value of 85.7% for trisomy 21 and 74% for trisomy 21, 18 and 13 combined. Patients who received a failed or no-call result are at increased risk of aneuploidy. Thank you and stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.